Welcome to LOA Today. Walt Thiessen, Carlos Velasquez. I always have trouble with that. And, oh, sorry, I'll get it right, Carlos. I promise you I will get it right consistently on a regular basis. And, of course, Linda Armstrong, our energy life coach here on this Friday, November 9th, 2018. It is 4 p.m. New York time, 1 p.m. Los Angeles time, 9 p.m. London time. And uh, this is your second Daily Dose of Happy for the day. And kind of, unfortunately, the last one we have for the weekdays. But, of course, we'll pick it up on Sunday night and then start again next Monday. And it's been a good week. It's been an interesting week. We've had some really interesting discussions, interesting topics that we've been addressing. Uh, Carlos, you and Alex and I had a, had a real doozy of one on, on uh, Tuesday. We were having a lot of fun with that one. Um, right. it, a, lot of, a lot of people bringing up good challenges and stuff. Today we're doing something really unusual. We are going to do, we're going to do what we're calling a kind of a group healing uh, where we're going to invite everybody who is listening to the podcast either live or um, on the live stream through the Law of Attraction Change My Life group on Facebook, or even if you're living to, listening to the recording afterward, it will work in all cases. But we're basically going to try to direct everybody's energies to helping, well, everybody in the group to uh, heal in whatever way they need to heal the most. And uh, it, it, it's kind of a fun experiment to see you know, what kind of results we're going to get. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm going to ask people if you are deciding that you're going to participate, you're going to uh, not just be a passive listener, but you're going to follow the directions as, as Linda helps guide us through this thing. Um, later on, as you notice things change in your life, if you notice shifting of some kind happen, send us a note, send us an email, post something to us in Facebook, send us a tweet. Let us know what's going on because that helps to reinforce this is the kind of result that we've been getting. And it may even encourage us to do it more often. You never really know. So with that preamble out of the way, I'm going to turn it over to our energy coach extraordinaire, Linda Armstrong, to tell us exactly what we're going to be doing and guide us through it. So, Linda, take it away. All right, cool. So today, I just thought that since, especially since we're broadcasting live to the Law of Attraction group, um, why don't we just work on releasing some beliefs around law of attraction and manifesting and, you know, um, releasing the lack mentality. So um, that's what I wanted to do. I prepared a couple of beliefs that I'll take you through, but we'll do this as a group. And actually, before, as you were speaking um, in the beginning of the show, what started coming to me is that if people enjoy this, I can do another one on money beliefs. Oh, be more specific. Like 10, okay. Ten major money beliefs, uh -huh. you know, that we can work on to clear energy to free ourselves up. You know? I don't think we'll have any trouble getting volunteers for that one. <laughs> no, I know. But anyway, so it just came. I figured I'd put it out there for you because I wasn't thinking about it before the show. So when things come That's in, good. I express them. All right. Um, so, but what I'm asking everybody to do, I, I do want to. Um, we did a little bit last show, but I want to just show how to muscle test. So you can do that for yourself because you can use that as a tool uh, at any time in your life when you just want to get a yes or no answer to something. You know, like I've even done this with my pendulum even or with my fingers like this. When I have like I'm in a crystal shop and there's like three crystals. I want to take them all home, but I can't take them all. So like I'll ask my higher self, you know, which one to take. You can do these things by muscle testing and, you know, working with the pendulum. We can talk about that on another show too. Okay. Um, so what I'm and and so do you have a is there a chat because I don't see a chat like can people type something into you? Oh, there's a couple ways. I mean, if they're on the Law of Attraction Phase Change My Life group, there's the regular commenting commenting chat that goes along with where the podcast and broadcast are live streaming. Um, if they want to connect into the Blue Jeans platform, and I think I provided a link for that. If I didn't, I'll see if I can plug it into. The Law of Attraction comment section uh, doesn't look like it did, so I'll get the link for that. Um, but you can also come to the Blue Jeans platform where we're where we all meet, the three of us all meet, and you can p put something into the chat there as well. Those are your two best ways to do it. Um, we do have, if you're listening on Spreaker, I'll I'll keep that one available too. There is a way for you to send a chat there as well, so I'll just kind of keep that window open in case somebody wants to send a message there. So I'll I'll kind of monitor the three areas to see you know where people are. Or okay. trying to reach us. And then can people, are people able to like raise their hand and speak if they're on the blue jeans or? Um... On blue jeans they can, yes. That's the, the way to come in and talk to us directly. And that's a good point. So before we go any further, while you're, you're doing your introduction, I'm going to get that link right now so that we can uh, give everybody the chance to come in and do exactly that. 
Okay, okay. that so would be great. Go. Because as we're doing this, it'd be um, pretty cool to get some feedback from the people who are going through it with us at the same time. Yes. So while I'm doing these beliefs, you know, I'm just going to make my connection to the energy that channels through me. And um, many times, you'll, you know, most most people can feel that energy as I hold it, whether we're live on this call right now or even if it's on a replay. Once you make once you make the conscious decision to connect to what we're doing with the group, you're connecting into that group energy that does exist. And that actually magnifies everything, right? So I don't know how many people are watching or um, live or not. And I don't know if we really have a way of telling that for sure. But what I'm going to do is invite everybody to kind of imagine that they're joining together. And so I'll take us through a little visual on that when we get to it. But first, I just want to go over the um, muscle testing because, you know, there are beliefs here. Like the law of attraction works for me, right? So you can test it. And you can either, you know, make two loops. Am I showing up good like that? Yep, that's guys? good. Um, so you hold one tight. You know, I'm a righty, so I like I'll hold the tight one with my left hand. And you want to pull, but of course you can always pull through. I mean, it's possible, right? You just want to mm -hmm. hold good enough tension where you can feel tension where it's not going to pull through. And then you would close your eyes and just say yes and pull, and it's strong, right? Or then you say no and pull it and you can pull it through okay usually that works for everybody it's pretty easy another way is to hold oh i can see myself okay hold the loop and take these two fingers like a pry bar right so then you would hold and you can say yes holding tight and and if you can see tension on my hands i'm trying to pry it. it's not going right mm -hmm. or then you say no and then you can pry it open, right? No. Like, I feel like I want to hold it, but it, it just goes. <laughs> okay? So that's um, yes or no. And then fail safe, which we probably won't be doing right now, but you can if you're at home and you can put the computer away from you a little bit. You can stand. So you stand. You just center yourself. You say yes. And on a yes, you usually lean, will go forward. And no. And you usually go backward. So you can find your yes and your no. I've had people go sideways, okay? So you're just going to find which direction is yes, which direction is no. And uh, you want to test it, double test it, right? So right now, if you guys want to join in. Wait, what does that mean, double test it, by the way? You, you just said you want to double test it. What does that mean? Um, standing up. What? I like doing the stand up as a double check. So if, if you're not sure if this was actually the yes, then you do the stand up. Yeah, yeah, so, the standing oh, up. Oh, I see. Okay. It's like a fail safe, you know? Right. Um, but you do want to make sure, like we're going to get a yes and a no. Then you're going to say your name. Like my name is Linda. It's tight. My mm. name is Mary. <laughs> it's going to break. Okay. Right. Okay. But there are people, even when I work with them, where they just can't break it no matter what. So <laughs> I'll have them go to a small, uh, you know, a, a weaker finger, like hold your pinky. Mm -hmm. And do it. And um, so that's why sometimes it, it doesn't work with the fingers so that you would want to go to the standing up to get your yes and your no. Okay. All right. So because it's pretty cool to test yourself, find a belief. And sometimes it's a, you think, oh, I got this. And then some no. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Because you're really checking your whole energy field. We're, we're bypassing the conscious mind, okay? The conscious mind knows this much Data, it thinks it has all the answers, but there's so much that's running in the background and a lot of that which is not supporting you. So you might be saying affirmations every day. I am good enough. I value myself. I am blah, 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 blah. But then you test it and you're still, you're not, you're still getting a no because it hasn't taken hold in your energy field. There's beliefs, patterns, programs, vows, oaths, decisions, energy ties that are keeping it there. Mm. So my job is to release that stuff for you. Now, being that it is with a group, I won't be able to like single out and tune into any, I'm not going to single out and tune into any one person. This is for the group. And the beauty of that is that group energy really does help magnify. So if something's going on for one person, there's somehow a reflection of it in another person, right? So really the healing is going to happen all around with whoever whoever is drawn to tuning into this today. So that makes sense so far? It does. 
So far, yep. we have we have no uh, questions. We do have a comment from Jeffrey saying, you know, waving hello, saying I'm here for the first time. So welcome, Jeffrey, and uh, join right in. And by the way, you asked how many listeners and, and viewers we have. Um, I can't tell you on speaker. I don't find that out until the end of the program. So far, we've got seven people watching live on the Law of Attraction Changed My Life group. Yeah. And uh, that doesn't count all the people who are just flashing by who aren't, oh, we're up to eight. No, we just dropped. It, it, it fluctuates, but it, you know, okay. <laughs> it's like jumps so, around. <laughs> so for those of you who stick around and come through the whole thing, cool, because, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to feel the energy. Now, it is good if you can pull yourself out of a busy environment, you know, and just be in, you know, close the door to your office or the room wherever you are. Like, just really, it's like meditation. You just want to. Right now, be here right now with what's happening on the program. And so um, I'll say this too. Like if you start having all these other random thoughts popping in your head, because the subconscious mind will do that, you just kind of tell them to, you know, give them, you know, talk to the hand or like um, put a little bubble around it and kind of blow it away. It's like you don't need that thought right now. It doesn't have to come here at this moment for this next hour, 40 minutes, whatever is left. And... Um, you know, it can you, come back later. You, you're going to like this. It will come back later, but you don't need it now. You're going to like this one, Linda. Jeff uh, put another comment down. Jeffrey says, I was called to listen. I'm sure there are others. All right. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So then what I'm going to ask everyone to do, um, even if you're only just watching this on the replay, it doesn't matter. The energy is there. This, whoever's here joining us live, even if it's only Carlos and Walt and I, we're holding this energy container, like this space, this time, space, um, for you to join in on, okay? But I know we already know we have more people joining, and there could be joint people joining randomly throughout the whole call. Mm -hmm. So, um, So for right now, I just want everybody to just sit still, take a nice deep breath, letting it out. Just relaxing your body, just using your breath as if you can feel it coming in to every single cell in your body. Allowing yourself to relax. If you you know, if you feel any tension in your shoulders, just kind of really pull them down. Feel yourself sinking down into the chair that you're sitting on, wherever you are. Nice deep breath in again. Slowly letting it out. And then one more deep cleansing healing breath in, only this time hold it for six seconds. And then gently and easily letting it out. And as you do that, you'll really feel yourself coming more into your center. You know, quieting the outside noise, everything that's going on out there right here, right now. It's just you, your inner self, your inner being. And the group. Okay. So I want you to imagine, since we are, we're holding this group energy, if you could just imagine that you have this beautiful golden light and it's coming in through your left hand and it's traveling across your body and out through your right hand. And it's going to the next person who is on the call, and the next person, and the next person. We're just building this circle of light, forming this beautiful energy, holding the group all together. So even if it's on a replay, you're just going to imagine yourself connecting to the group by imagining that beautiful golden light coming in through the left, going out through the right, and just joining with, joining with the group. So I had originally thought to do muscle testing, but I want to keep you in this space. And it doesn't really matter for, for right now. Um, you can always test them later. But I want to just go down the list of these beliefs that I brought with me because some of you will have them, some of you won't. But no matter what, as I do the clearing, I always receive downloads like, of ways of being to be downloaded into every single cell of your body and so you can take all of that in. We'll be releasing vows, oaths, decisions, whatever. I don't even know what's going to come through yet. We'll just see what that is. <laughs> so for right now, we're just going to start with, um, so the belief, the law of attraction works for me. 
That's what we want to work on because many, many people, when I test them with this, they all get a no. <laughs> <laughs> they get a no because there's a preconceived idea of how the law of attraction works. The truth is it's a universal law. It works all the time. Like gravity, you cannot turn it off. So that's why you want to become a master of your own thoughts and be able to know how to work with it and have it work with you to be able to be free enough to be in that space where you're putting out your actual real desires and not your fears. Okay, so that's what we want to try and accomplish here today. So for anyone who has this belief that the law of attraction works for me, that tests or that might be as a no, I just don't like to put them in, in a negative. So basically it's law of attraction doesn't work for me. <laughs> We're going to make sure that that belief is just being pulled. So I, I say I pull it, I send it to the light. The light being universe, God, source, the all that is, whatever you want to call that energy that makes up everything. So we're going to pull any beliefs that reside in your system that dictate to you the law of attraction is not working for you. We want to transform those beliefs and they'll be transformed across four different belief levels. So this is a theta healing aspect of the work that I do. Those belief levels are the core. That's this lifetime. The history, all lifetimes. The ancestral, so what comes through DNA, through your uh, hereditary, and, and the soul level. So we're going to transform this belief of law of attraction not working for you along all four belief levels in the highest and best way for you across all time, space, and reality, all seven planes of existence. And just downloading the new belief that law of attraction is always working for me. Taking that in. And you might even feel like a buzz in your body because I know I feel it. So maybe you guys can feel it too. Of just this energy flow maybe starting to build for you. And so I'd like to download you with what it feels like to easily send out those thoughts that are for your highest good, that lead you to your desires, that help you in creating and manifesting through this law of attraction. So would you like to know what it feels like to really become a master over your thoughts? To be able to create your desires right here, right now in your life? Mm. Okay, so there's another aspect to that. I didn't know we were going to go here, but spirit wants me to. So we also... So, okay, let me, can I download everybody right here, right now with the, uh, I'm going to call it the creator, okay, this energy, the creator's definition and perspective of divine timing. Yeah, so what I'm hearing is because a lot of times people will put a time limit onto these things they want to manifest, and because they put that time limit there, they start to create this resistance within them. But if you can just hold your connection to spirit and this knowing that Everything comes in divine timing. That if you have this desire in your heart for something that it is you want to manifest in your life, then it's a part of you and it will come. So would you like to know what it feels like to truly, really just allow yourself to allow divine timing to work with you in your favor as you manifest these things into your life that you desire to live? So would you like to know what it feels feels like to own it in your system that manifesting can be easy that manifesting is easy that you know how to bring about into your waking reality all that you wish to manifest would you like to know what it feels like to trust and hold and allow for the right things to come to you at the right time Yeah, let's hold on to that. So we'll take any beliefs that dictate to you that um, that it is not easy for you to manifest your desires, right? So if there's any of those and they're in there, <laughs> we just want to pull them all out, pulling out these beliefs that forbid and prevent you from manifesting your desires easily. We're just going to transform it again across all four belief levels in the highest best way for you, holding for you that it is easy for you to manifest your desires. 
Mm. Everything in your life is a manifestation. That mirror out there is a manifestation of what's going on within. So would you like to know what it feels like to tap into those things that are for your highest good and have them come through into your life? Manifesting your desires easily, following your heart, and leading with this connection with spirit. Yeah, so let's release any vow. I'm going to do this for the group. Normally, I'll individually, I'd have you do it yourself, but I'm doing this for the whole group right now. Let's clear any vows, oaths, decisions you've ever made that forbid you and prevent you to allow good things to come to you easily. Let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions that compel you or make you have to suffer. A lot of people hold this. We just want to release those. We don't need them. Maybe they served you somewhere along this timeline of your entire existence. But it's time to just let that go. Let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions that compel you or make you have to punish yourself. Let's release all the vows, oaths, and decisions that dictate to you That you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, that you're not deserving. We're just going to let all of those go. So just feel this energy just lifting, releasing. And so as we release these, I'm going to call them denser energies, these energies that are not serving you, sometimes they are. So we'll, we'll release them, whatever is not serving you for your highest good, right? Letting go all of the extra stuff in there that just clouds it all up and makes everything so much harder. We're just going to release that all. So, ooh, would you like to know what it feels like to trust and allow in the process, to allow yourself to open up to the possibilities, the unlimited possibilities the universe has for you? And so let's also release all the energetic, mental, and emotional ties that connect between you and all of the times when you felt that you couldn't manifest, that you weren't manifesting, that things just don't happen for you. That the law of attraction works for everybody else, but not for you. Let's release all those energetic ties. So all the times you felt that or thought that, just letting it go. And so let's take any beliefs that reside in your system that dictate to you that you're not good enough. Yeah. So any beliefs that make you feel that you're not good enough, you're not worthy, we're just tapping into this just now, we're just going to pull all of that, downloading for you in its replacement. Yeah, I am good enough. I am worthy. I am love. Yes, download it in every single cell of your body, the highest and best way for you, throughout all time, space, reality. I'm just listening to the mental chatter that my guys are telling me at the moment. So, all right, they want me to continue on my list. So let's, let's release any beliefs that you have um, that prevent you and forbid you from believing in your abilities, from knowing your value, from knowing your worth. So we're just going to pull all of that, send it to the light. Hmm. Yes, I'm just hearing, I own my value. I know my truth. I know my heart. I am good enough. I can do it. Just feel those soaking into yourselves. So maybe you can feel this buzz of energy. Maybe not. Okay, so let's release any vows, oaths, decisions you might be holding that forbid you and prevent you from, from allowing the process. 
from believing in healing and from allowing the healing energy to come in. Okay, we don't have to know why you may have put those blocks there, you know. We're just going to release it all. But would you like to know what it feels like to feel energy, healing energy coming into your system, allowing you to connect to the truth, to the fullness of the all that is, to be in this flow of ease and grace, this flow of pure love energy of the universe. Yeah, just allowing yourself to really take that in, soak it into every single cell. All right. Oh, she's a good one. <laughs> Let's release any beliefs that prevent you and forbid you from knowing inspiration when it comes in, right? Let's just download for you what it feels like. To allow inspiration to come through, to feel your connection to spirit, to source. To be open, it's the law of allowing, to be open, to allow spirit to inspire you. In spirit, right? To inspire you with what is for your highest good, um, what will assist you in getting to where you want to go. I mean, the creator knows what you want to do in your life, what you're here for, what your purpose is. And you're always receiving guidance from your guides, taking you in that direction. So would you really like to own it and know it and feel it? This connection you have to spirit, to your guides, to your angels. To allow that inspiration and to know when to act on it. To know what is real and what isn't. Okay, so would you like to know how to bypass that mental chatter, that monkey mind, and hear the truth, the inspiration that will take you to where you want to go? Yeah, okay, so that's perfect, because the next one that I had written down here is, I trust I'm supported by the universe. <laughs> no mistake how they're coming up. Okay, so... um Let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions that forbid you and prevent you from trusting your connection to the universe. We already kind of tapped in on this, and it's funny because, you know, I'm working, looking at my list, but I'm also listening to Spirit. And I think they already covered that one, but I'd have to hear it again to know for sure. But uh, we're just going to pull it, release it. If anyone were to test themselves and they get a no when they say, I trust that I'm supported by the universe, we're going to flip that right now. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the, the belief changes. I am always supported by the universe. Yeah. The universe, guide, spirit, God, whatever you want to include in what your perception is of this energy of the universe of the all that is. So would you like to know what it feels like to call upon that connection at any moment in time? To know that it is not only possible for you to do this, but that this is a gift that resides within you, that you are born with, and that you can move forward step by step every day, one foot in front of the other, closer and closer to what it is you're truly here to accomplish in your life. And I'm getting head to toe goosebumps on this one, so I'm sure it must be resonating with everybody. Ah, here's good ones. Okay, so let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions that um, prevent you and forbid you to be open to receive. To know that it is safe for you to receive. This is a big problem for a lot of people. We can give, give, give. It's so hard to receive, but you need the universe wants to give to you. You have to be open to receive it, right? So let's pull any, any vows out to decisions that prevent you and forbid you to receive gifts from the universe, to receive from anyone, to be able to take the love in, to hold it, bring it into your heart. Yeah. Okay, so let's release any vows, oaths, decisions you've ever made that have, have compelled you or made you 
close down your heart. Put up this wall, this barrier. No matter what the reason was for that, just letting it go. Okay, it's not, it's just not serving you. Okay, you want to be open to receive that love that wants to come in. So would you like to know how to have, would you like to have the creator's definition of, um, love? Let's just take that in. However that wants to come, just soak it into every single cell of your body. Oh boy, I'm having a release on that one. Somebody needed that. Hmm. Let's just sit with that. Yeah, so I want to download for you that it is safe for you to open your heart and to allow love to come in in whatever way that wants to come. Would you like to know what it feels like to... Um, oh, okay. Would you like to know what it feels like that would be the best way for you to protect your... We need boundaries. This is true. We want to have safe boundaries with discernment as to um, how to decipher, discern which energies are not permitted in. Okay? Because you don't want to close yourself off to everything. So you want to be able to discern. I like to use bubbles of light when I do this, you know, and I have this, like, this beautiful bubble of light, just the energy of the Creator... The all that is, and I would put silver lining around it so it reflects away anything that is not for my highest good. I like to also use chain mail, you know, like the woven metal that the knights wear. Put that around my bubble. So, you know, it, it'll prevent any psychic attacks or things like that where people are may have <laughs> jealousy towards you or who knows what it is, but there's this negative energy that they may not even realize or have control over that they might be sending to you, right? So to be able to just hold your energy as your own, and this is great for empathic people, and a lot of people who are into this world that we're talking about all the time on this show, you're probably very empathic, right? So you take on energy very easily. So would you like to know what it feels like to protect and your own boundaries and your own energy without having to shut down your heart and build walls around you? Be able to know and discern which energies are for your highest good and which aren't to allow the good in and to just leave the others out there. Yeah. That's a good one. And so would you like to know what it feels like to be able to receive? So we worked on being open to receive. We just want to be able to receive. And we're, we're kind of working on that throughout this whole thing, just allowing this Good stuff to flow through that wants to come through this guidance. And again, it gets back to that um, spiritual guidance, that connection to the universe, guides, gods, angels, whatever you want to call that support that's out there. Uh, even your your loved ones who have passed, you know, you have energy always available to you. So would you like to know what it feels like to be open to receive inspiration that is for your highest good at any moment, anytime from Anyone, whether they are in the body or not. Yeah, let's take that in. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to go there right now. Um, let me see how that wants to come through. Okay, let's release... <laughs> Whatever, let's release energy ties to all of the experience that has possibly caused you to have a lack mentality, right? Or a feeling of not enough. Uh, whether that's within yourself, that you're not enough, or that you don't have enough support out there in the world for you. Um, lack, be it whatever. Love, finances, um, anything. Just want to let go of that, right? See, that's the old way of being. This planet, we're evolving now. We're going to be, we're going to be manifesting easily without this old programming, this stuff that was created to just keep us down. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's kind of how it happened. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so last thing I want to do is let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions that forbid and prevent you from shining your light, expressing your truth, using your innate abilities to create a life that you love, manifesting easily, being open to receive, working with the law of allowing, the law of attraction, the law of deliberate creation, being able to focus on what it is that you want to create in your life and allow that focus of that to have this universal energy speak to you and through you and guide you to your next step. So I think I'll stop right now because I can just keep going with this. You know, it'll just keep coming in and pouring in and flowing. But I want to see, Walt, if you have anybody who has any questions or want to share any experience, if you guys have the feeling of any of the energy flowing through you. I, I do have some responses. Uh, Emily in particular was saying at one point early on, wow, do I feel light after this so far? Negative thoughts and doubts weighed me down. She also said, I feel like a cloud, LOL, no joke, totally resonates with me. Uh, and both she and Sean were giving you a yes toward that last part of what you were talking about there. So, and Emily's saying amazing. You really got through to Emily on this one. I can tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Good. And for myself, when you were yeah. talking a number of times about uh, feeling the energy, I was feeling the energy, which is exciting to me because, you know, we've had that conversation before. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'm I'm still feeling it. It's like this, this wall oh, yeah. around me right now. Not a wall, but it's like this. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's I get it. I feel me. it big time. Yeah. That's why I tell you all the time. I get high off of doing this. Work. I'm sure you do. This is um, a pretty high feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's a great. I mean, this is where you can create from, from this energy. So maybe it's just meditation that you do that can bring you to this space, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can just have the awareness of when your thoughts are taking you away from what you want, well, then you have something to work with. Then you right. can work with people like me. Um, to release that stuff. But even just being aware of it, you know, energy just wants to be seen, right? So some of this negative programming, it's almost like saying, I'm here, I'm here. And so when you look at it, you're like, oh, the belief that I'm not enough? Okay, I see you. Hmm, I welcome you. Imagine that. I welcome, I'm getting goosebumps. They want me to tell you this. I, I, I welcome you. I'm not enough. I welcome you. I see that thought. And just by seeing it, <laughs> It like unravels it, right? So you can do that. If you, you know, you, you need to be, have the awareness of what you're actually putting out there, right? Cause we're, we work, we want to work with law of attraction. It's always working. We don't want to put that negative stuff out there, right? So when you're aware of, oh wow, this, I am not right now creating what I want. This is, I'm in a, it's okay. Be there with it. Let it know you see it. Actually, I was there earlier today. I'm like, what the heck is this energy that's coming up today? Maybe I needed to clear it before I can come to this. I don't know what, I don't really know what the purpose of it was, but I thought, okay, I'm just going to sit with it. I'm like, I see you guys. I see it. Whatever it is, I, I, I'm with you. I feel it. And then, of course, I did my own clearing to, to release whatever it was that was the cause of those feelings. <laughs> so I know how to do it. But really just looking at it, it starts to unravel it. You almost can get back into that childlike wonder and that childlike mind of yours where um, the magic resides. And so even if you want to set this up for yourself right here, right now on this call, that when I notice these things that are not for my highest good, I'm just going to look at it. It's like, yeah, okay, boy, here comes my karate, my, my karate mind coming in. But somebody gets in your face, you know, if you cower to it, that's where the bully comes from and they'll keep bombarding you, right? But if you're like, hey, I'm here. What? What do you want to say? Uh, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Because you're confronting it. You're looking at it head on. It's like, yeah. Okay, I got all this crap going on in my head right now. I see it. I see you. You know what? You're not really serving me. So when you're ready, you can leave. I'm welcoming you. You can stay or you can leave. And you know what? It just takes the power away. And it's like that balloon that just deflates and... Uh, a few more pieces of uh, feedback here. First of all, early on, Hannah gave us a great big heart, so she was really buying into the love part that you were sharing. Um, Jeffrey was saying, I will be re-listening later to get every nugget, so he was drinking it in pretty good. 
Um, Sean, Sean said I missed a lot. Sean, hey, don't worry about it. And um, also, it was Anne was asking about this. Don't worry about it. This is available as a replay. So um, even if you're not able to catch all of it live, you can listen to the replay later mm -hmm. on, either by going to the videos section or just by you know going to uh, what you liked here and, and, and what we liked back, and you'll be able to see directly on the same post um, what we're watching live right now. But absolutely, this is all available. I'll add to that, too, that since we know intention drives it, is a driving force, right? So you just intend that you're going to connect to that group energy that was on this. And you're just going to go with it. You know, put yourself in that quiet space, listen to it, and allow the process to unfold. But I want to hear what, if, what Carlos was feeling. Uh, also, I, yeah, before, I before, you, before you go to Carlos, I have a question from Jeffrey for you to answer. Uh, Jeffrey's asking, what if you feel like it is serving you? It, well, if it's serving you and you feel it's serving you, then then it's serving you. But if you have a question if it's serving you, why is that question there? So maybe you just need to look at it a little deeper. You know what I would say to do? Journal it, right? So get into, just like just now, I got you into that space of just breathing and centering yourself. Get out a piece of paper and write the thing, this thought. And if you're asking that, I'm thinking it's probably not what you think is the best of thoughts. I don't know. Um, well, actually, he, he, he followed up with me? his own answer. He gave his own answer. He says, because it led you here now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But really, no, things come in. And, and they do, that's why, if you notice, almost everything I said was for your highest good. Right? Because your soul knows what's for your highest good. So I know I've just gone through a whole period of some kind of a, a struggle in my life. I know I'm trusting it was for my highest good and there's something for me to learn there. So that's an element too. So that's why I'm saying you get out a journal because anybody, anybody, everybody can channel. You just don't know that you can, right? So you just start writing. Okay. Well, I got this thought that came in and I don't know. I think it's serving me, but I might feel better without it. <laughs> you know, I'm assuming it's a thought that you don't want or you wouldn't ask the question. Um, and you just start journaling. Well, so how could this thought be serving me? Or what is it teaching me? And you'll, you'll just start. So I want you to get into automatic writing. Just write whatever comes in your head. So you're writing like, oh, I don't really have any idea, but I'm really pretty hungry. And, you know, that girl, Linda, she said to do this journaling, I think it's pretty ridiculous. But ask yourself, try it. Again. Nothing to use. Like you just write. You just write whatever comes in your head. You're like, oh, you know, I really need to repaint this room, you know, or whatever. And as you let yourself be loose enough to just, just write, it's like you're dumping whatever's coming in your head. Spirit can come in and it'll give you the answers that you're looking for. Mm. you'll be surprised when I do this, it blows me away. That's actually a, that's actually a good point, Linda. I, uh, I was going to kind of piggyback off what you said earlier about, um, uh, acknowledging, right. I think in meditation, you know, we hear that a lot is, you know, thoughts are going to come, embrace them, right. Acknowledge that they're there, take them for what they are. And then, and then they can, you know, they can be released because you acknowledge them. But that happens, um, to your point right now, that happens with all problems. You know, if you ignore it, it's still here. It's just more subconscious, right? And so it just crowds the mind and you can't really get to, like you said, to, to let the spirit in. You know, if it's um, things you have to do, if it's, uh, you know, bills you have to pay, whatever it is, what I like to do is, like you said, you know, maybe not journal it, but for me, it's, it's I write to-do lists, right? Like, to get all the stuff that I have to do and all this stress that I have out of my mind and on paper. And once it's on paper, I'm like, oh, okay, well, now it's now I can handle these things, right? And, it, and, it, and again, it, it takes away the power that those things have. And then you do feel lighter because there's a lot of stuff that you, you'll, you'll, you won't even notice that you're kind of going through until, you know, it builds up and then your shoulders are up here and then, you know, it takes something like this to kind of calm them down. But yeah, that's why, you know, I, I was kind of, I've been quiet and since I've just been, uh, really in, in the, uh, in the energy zone, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, just from the visualization that you started with from one hand to the other, I felt like a, like a light rope, like a lightning rope almost that was just constantly flowing. And just, I was just holding it, him, holding them, you know, in my hands and just, uh, you know, feeling the, the energy coming. And like you said, when things do serve you, um, or when they're for your highest purpose, I felt those things, right? It's like I'm blocking certain ideas or certain, you know, uh, heavy thoughts or, or just anything that's really blocking in that. Uh, other things, like you said, um, 
I didn't really connect as much to, but I think, like you said, you connect to the things that serve you and the other things, you know, don't worry about them. And I think uh, that's another thing is I feel like a lot of times you get really stuck in the minutia. Is this serving me? Is this necessary? Sometimes you just have to, you know, the, the more you get in the nitty gritty, the, it just causes more thinking, over overthinking and overstressing. So um, really just uh, knowing that, hey, if this is for my higher purpose, it will happen. And if not, it will not. You know, it, it, things I, like I, I, I talked about the other day, joking with my buddy, he always says, you know, you know why you're here right now? No, it's because, because you had, you know, you should be. And that's why. And so same, similar purpose, like, you try to unblock those things and, um, but you know, you're right. Sometimes you have stuff that's there because it's serving you. Maybe it's protecting you from something or maybe you're guarded because you should be guarded right now because there's, there's the, you know, something that, that the universe sees that maybe you don't see, but, um, just know that, um, that's there for a reason and, and ask yourself the right questions. I think that's the biggest thing. Like you said, instead of why is this happening to me or, you know, or, oh no, actually that's, that's probably a, a good question, but you know, in the right context, I should say, you know, not in like a victim mode, but you know, really looking at it. So well, why am I thinking like this? Or, um, what caused me to have this thought? Um, you know, those kinds of things. What, 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 what can this, you know, serve me with? And, you know, yeah, so I, I got a lot from it. You know, uh, speaking to what you just said, you can ask for a sign. Right. If you're not really sure or what, because God, I'm telling you, spirit is always giving us signs. We just have to open up to seeing them. So if you're right. like, you know, I'm not really sure how this is serving me. You know, can you send me a sign or something that will help me to know? Right. Yeah. Uh, and you'll get it. You know, be open to that. Yeah, I actually I asked for something similar. I asked for a, a strong nudge. That's what I is my verb. Okay. It's because because I won't I, I, I kind of put it out there. I won't get a small, a small hint. So I need a, a, a strong nudge. And I always give them, no matter what. I'll give a strong, maybe, and you know what? You have to be, you have to be completely open though, because sometimes that nudge isn't in the way that you want it to be. So if you do get that nudge, you have to be able to, to be aware, hey, this is the nudge I was asking for. And so like, and that could be, you know, again, I've had, I've asked for strong nudges and, and, you know, uh, relationships, you know, go, uh, you know, to the wayside or, you know, maybe something, again, it's not always going to be something good, but it is going to be showing you something or teaching you something, or again, that nudge is, is there for a reason. So be very aware, um, and open on both sides, not just kind of what you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I like what you said. I especially like the way you said that, like, send me a strong nudge because right. The language you use, it doesn't have to be any particular way. It's whatever mm -hmm. way feels natural, comfortable to you. Because your guides know your lingo, they speak it. Right. So you're like, hey, listen, send me a strong nudge. Right. They're on it. Right. It doesn't have to be, show me a sign. Like, you know, airy fairy, you know, it's like you speak your language to your guides. They get you, right? Right. And so there's no right way. You just find your own way. And if you don't know where to start, just start somewhere. Ask a question, right? Mm -hmm. And it'll grow and it'll, it'll grow and evolve, especially for you. Again, how it would work best for you. Right. Yeah. But yeah, no, just, just being, uh, clear. I think, like you said, meditation is, is big and I try to do it as often as I can. And I have to admittedly say that I don't do it as much as I should. And no, it's funny because knowing that it feels like this afterwards, why wouldn't, you know, why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> but you know, like you get, life gets in the way or so on. But, uh, but yeah, no, it feels really good. It's almost like, you know, uh, I don't know anybody, uh, listeners or if you guys exercise a lot, but uh, you know, meditation is very similar to where it's like, you might even think of it as a hassle. It's like, Oh, I gotta go take the time. Even if it's 10 minutes, whatever. But afterwards, you feel so much better. You feel so good, ready to take on the day. Blood is pumping, you know. So I uh, be, be proponent for meditation for sure. Um, you know, I I, I, I did. I kind of have to apologize because I normally when I when I end doing something like that, 
you know, we'll close out the circle and all that. But we kind of got into conversation. So I'm, I was just seeing that, you know, it just dissolved on its own, this circle. Actually, we're still connected in it too, but, um, I usually don't like to pull people out of it so kind of abrupt by me just start talking about randomly about other stuff. Um, so I don't maybe think just, yeah, maybe I don't it had to re- remain open for the, for those who are going to listen later, you know. All right, you know, Carlos. You don't want to close it off. Uh, you know, you want to close early. There's still people uh, that, you know, need this yeah, energy. No, so that's, pro- just, that's probably why it's still floating around there. Yeah, yeah. Because we're not really, I'm not really doing the processes anymore. But the energy is still buzzing. So, you know, it's good. Right. It's all good. This, You know what? It's always in the way it needs to be. So I just trust in that. Because right. really, uh, I'd have to listen back to see what the, what was actually coming through before. Because um, I started with the plan. But then, I, as Walt knows, I'll just go wherever I go. And yeah. and then I would look back at my plan. I'm like, and I'm doing it. I'm like, I think we might have just done that. But that's okay. <laughs> I'll do it again. You know, because... <laughs> Right. It's all good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And certainly based on the, uh, the comments and uh, input we've been getting, it's, everything's positive here. People are loving this. They're eating it up. So I, I don't think you have to worry about it, Linda. The, 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 the circle right. hasn't really been broken in any unpleasant way at all. It's been, I think like Carla said, it's I'm continuous. Gonna, I think it just keeps going. I'm going to start trolling. I'm going to start trolling you and say, I'm too much healing. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. It's too good. <laughs> You know what? So we want to do it again sometime. Um, maybe not next week, but you know, whenever you want, we can do like, uh, you know, these money beliefs. Want to schedule that for two weeks from now? Cause I can, right. I can schedule that in the group. That way everybody knows that's coming and set okay. aside time in their calendars and so forth. So, okay. So we'll schedule okay, that for two Fridays from today. Yeah. Okay. Right in time for the holidays. And I'm sure everybody's going to be want to manifest some, uh, extra, some extra dough. Yeah, so that'll that'll definitely uh, come in handy. In fact, good. Let's do it. Isn't that the Friday after Thanksgiving? So that if it is, that'd be a good day because a lot of people will be available. They won't have to be, you know, at work or you know dealing with us. They might be out shopping. They might. Yeah, that's true. It's Black Friday, right? I forgot about that. Yeah. (laughs) Well, even then, they can listen listen to the replay. They they may be listening while they're standing in line waiting to check out with whatever their items are. You know. Well, I, I think that'll be a good option, right? You could either uh, go blow all your money, or you can sit and listen to us and, and uh, hopefully manifest some. Wait, so. wait, let me add to that. Or you could be out there shopping and just consciously tune in to 4 p.m. Eastern right? and, and have the energy soak in so that you're enjoying putting that money out. Because money, you have to, you know, you have to, you have to kind of love it. You know, you can't, mm-hmm. you can't resent Paying for stuff because this that's not true. a good energy, right? Exactly. Right. So <laughs> as they're as they're spending all that money, they could be, you know, anything's possible, right? We're we're spirit connecting to the energy of that call. Hey, for people who have not um, perhaps done this kind of thing before, and who I'm sure everybody's appreciating, Linda, the fact that you kind of led us through all this and, and kind of guided the whole thing. But you were pointing out anybody can really connect in. If, if somebody is wanting to perhaps do this for themselves, maybe they want to do it on a regular basis. Maybe they just want to try it once or twice with friends or something. But if they haven't done it before, what would you tell them? What, what advice would you give them about you know how to get started? How how do you kind of organize it or how do you do it? What do you mean? Do what? Heal yourself? Well, do this kind of an energy thing because that's what we're doing. We're doing like a healing energy thing. So is this something that somebody can, can kind of guide themselves through? And if so, how? Um, yeah, I think so. Because a lot of times when, when people who work with me, they kind of get used to how I work with them. Mm-hmm. And so they kind of do it, can do it for themselves to some degree as well. Mm-hmm. Um, like so, therapy, I think. I feel like if you've gone to a therapist for five years, like you, not that you're a therapist, but you can kind of start to <laughs> see those you know kind of things that they see, you know? I think you can just make the decision to get quiet, ask to connect to your guides, whether you think you are or not, ask to be in this space where you can receive healing and just talk about what you want to let go. Mm -hmm. And you can even say, I asked to let go of blah, blah, blah. That's happening in my life right now. You know, Mm -hmm. Um, just kind of have that communication with your guides. Like Carlos saying, Hey, 
give me a, give me a, what was it? A nudge. strong nudge. A strong <laughs> nudge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we lose Carlos? He's gone. Oh, well, he's no, still connected. He just, his camera's off is all. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, there, there he is. is. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, actually, also, I suppose they can just, um, if they want to get a sense of how the rhythm of it goes, they can just replay the replay, right? They can just play it yeah. again as many times as they need to in order to get a feel for how it goes. Yeah, or or they can take courses in whatever energy modality is calling them, you know? Mm, true. You don't have to, you can take courses on this and not have it be like your life's mission just mm-hmm. because you want it for yourself. Like I, a lot of the courses I've taken, some people were there just for the shifting that goes on while you're in the course. Mm, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Well, this yeah. is good. Uh, before we go, I want to remind people that, uh, first of all, thank you for those of you who came to the live stream or to the uh, speaker um, broadcast, because that's really wonderful. Um, secondly, if you're not yet a subscriber, become a subscriber. I mean, we're doing all these really great things every week. This is w- just one more example of all the the really diverse activities and discussions and so forth that we have. And uh, you keep, you want to make sure you don't miss any of them. That's why you want to be a subscriber. If you're listening on the Facebook group, there's, there's actually links for both um, Android users and for iPhone and iPad users to click um, to just walk you through the process of being a subscriber. You can also do it by just going to the homepage of our website at LOAToday.net. And once you're a subscriber, share. I mean, People are already sharing in the group, which is great. And we've had a lot of eyeballs, a lot of it's very consistent flow of, of people, by the way, Linda, watching this thing. So it's, it's been definitely well attended. Um, also, do it on other social media. I mean, tweet something. Talk about the fact that you're listening to the LOAToday.net, that you got this great energy healing. I mean, help spread the word because through the law of attraction and the, the, the law of social media and how social media works, the combination is going to get the word out. And that's really what we're hoping for. We want more and more people to get their daily dose of happy and to get into that good feeling place on a regular basis because we know once that happens on a large scale, the whole world is better off for it. So there's our our two promo messages for the day. And Linda, thank you for leading us through this. That was great. I mean, it it was because you you actually led me through a private one uh, a couple months ago. And it's fun to go through it the second time, but to do it with the group energy field because it did feel different this time. I mean, it does feel different when you do it as a group, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> it does. I, I mean, there's, there's like an, there's an amplification. There's like, it's just, it's just different. I don't even know how to describe tangibly how it's different, but it's different. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice. good stuff. All right. Um, any closing? Oh, pff, I almost forgot. Somebody wants to have this kind of a personal session, Linda. How do they reach out to you to get a personal session like this? Maybe you need, somebody needs to have like a personal clearing that goes on. How do they do that? Yeah, just go to my website, lovemylife.coach. Anything you need to know is there. Okay. That's simple enough. Yeah. And uh, Carlos, uh, you and I had kind of a quiet role today, but uh, you, uh, I like the uh, ideas you had about nudging. So we're going to remember nudging and Carlos all in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just ask the universe to give you a strong nudge and, That's uh, right. and it will. For sure. All right. Sounds good. So uh, we'll be talking to you on Tuesday. That's the next time I talk to you. So have a good weekend. And Linda, you we'll too. be talking to you on Friday. So have a great week. Yeah, you too, guys. All right. And we'll see you all next time, listeners. Every time that we talk to you, we always say the same thing. We'll see you all next time here on LOA Today. Goodbye, everybody. Dance again.